Hey friends, if you want to free up space on your Mac, here I have some tips for you how you can make the most of your Mac storage. We will go over how to free up space with the built-in storage manager and how to reduce this weird author or system data. But before we start, it's maybe a good idea to make a time machine backup in case you will delete some files you later need it. Let's take a look what we got here. If you open Spotlight with command spacebar and then you just type storage and then it takes some time to calculate here all. It's normal in the general tab. I like to search for it, it's way faster. And then the first step I like to do is going through all the categories here. So let's start with the application one. You can see it's 82 gigabytes. Let's take a look what we got here. I normally don't have any <laughs> application anymore to delete, but uh, maybe you have some old application you don't use. You can scroll through it and you can see the size and then you can delete them. This is the first step I like to do. The second step, what I like to do as well, is go to documents and you can do the same. Then you can see the, all the files here. I have a lot of Final Cut Pro files here. Mm, I can delete them. They're normally backups. If we click here, you can see the location where it's located and you can even open in Finder as well. And then you can just delete it. Normally you don't have any issues if you 100% sure you don't need the file anymore. Let's go back here and another thing if you don't use any music stuff you can delete this one as well it's like garage band library I use it for Final Cut Pro so you can remove it too you save like almost one gigabyte of space uh, you can delete it as well of course here for example if you listen to a lot of podcasts you can do the same you just press command A you uh, will highlight it all of them and this is like episodes you download but you don't need them anymore on your PC. They're still in your on all your devices that you heard them but you don't need them here anymore. It's a waste of space I would say. So you just delete all and then yeah we'll free some space up. You can see it it's almost disappeared. Next step maybe a lot of you guys wondering what exactly this data is, system data, or before it's called others. Let's take a look what we can do about it. If you open Spotlight one more time and then go to Finder, then if you go up here to go, and then if you hold Option key, then then you can see we got the library here. You will click on it. And now what I like to do as well is go as column view that you can see where exactly we are located here. This is this path here and then I look for cache. So if you click on here and then we can go back to the list view. This is basically all this data. You can see like all the data take a lot of space. Common space bandits I call them. It's almost like the browsers like Arc, Brave and Google Chrome and so on. And also Adobe stuff. I don't use Adobe stuff. So let's go ahead. Sort on the size and here you cannot see the size. So you can go here right click and get info. And then you have this window. You can see it's 500 megabytes. I cleaned it two days before. So before it's for like two or three gigabytes. It's a lot of stuff, really big files here. So if you have Adobe, it's like crazy. It can be up to 10 gigabytes something. We saved our data and time machine. What I like to do, you just yeah, delete this folder completely. So brave, we can get info again and check. Okay, it's very big as well. So I like to delete it as well. Yeah, then I go through all of them. Most of them I don't know, so I don't touch them. But you can make an experiment and check if you can delete more stuff and see what happens. Uh, of course, make time machine backup before you do this experiment. What I'll not recommend is to delete something cloud specific so I don't touch them. If you don't know, hey, what application take a more, much of space, you can do a quick check if you open um, the active monitor called and then you go to the memory tab here and you can see already, okay, Arc take a lot of time. Get okay, a script. This is my recording software, of course, I'm using it right now. And yeah, almost Arc browser take a lot of memory. You can see I have only 16 gigabytes and memory use almost yeah, 12 gigabyte and cache files and like four gigabyte. And it's like a lot of stuff going on here. This is basically, if we go to storage again, this is basically reduced normally. Let's calculate it because this is not accurate. In my examples here, I did it two days before, how I told you. In your examples, maybe like 
more gigabyte here you can see we almost win some one or two gigabytes of space here but if you have folder that 10 gigabytes or maybe 12 it's like a lot then you'll see a lot of yeah, reduction here and another tip as well this is optional it's really up to your personal preference is if you don't use the photos app you can turn off photos app and then delete on this mac but be careful read it carefully and then yeah you can click delete only on this mac it will delete the photos but it's still be in your icloud so i did it on my mac to free some space because i have almost not too much space already here all right and this is basically it i just did it a couple days ago so i was thinking okay let's do a video about it because it's like yeah very useful maybe for you as well so thank you much for your time and see you in the next one.